everyone, how's everyone? My name is Said from this is from the NPRZ channel. This is the continuing video from the you know the previous one that I showed you about my PlayStation 4 game collection. And this is the about the Xbox One disc collector you that I have. First of all, we're gonna start with Injustice 2. It is a good game. It's kind of a directed by Nidrealm Studio. The same creators of World Combat. Assassin's Creed Unity made this 100% on Xbox One. I really like this game. It was awesome. Elder Scroll 9. I never played it because it, it is just a fucking internet eater. Far Cry 5. It is a good game. I really recommend you to play it. Gr graphics awesome. Story awesome. Characterization. It is awesome. Everything. It's good. I, but some people really don't like it. Battlefield Hardline. After this Battlefield... Everything just fucked up. Only can I say this to you. Home from the Revolution. It was suck. Actually, the previous game were really, really best than this. The Mad Max. It was based from the movie, but not... You know, if you've seen the movie, it is kind of a opposite of the movie. It is kind of a, you know another story that you never expected. It is a good game, by the way. The Evil Within 2. If it is a, you know... Giving it is a really stressful game. It is not that horrifying, but the high difficulties will you know test your patience because it is hard. The Doom that I think you know you already know this guy, so there's no explanation for it. It's a cool game. The Sims Deluxe, you know, party edition. And when the advanced came to the consoles, I was really excited, but after seeing all those fucking DLCs, I just hate EA more. Taken 7, it is from the Xbox One, and uh, I love this game. It is. It was a good thing, you know. It was kind of a really enjoyable game, and even if it would give you a back award. Mafia 3 wasn't a bad game. You should give him a probably give him a chance. The story was good. Graphic was good, but unfortunately, the gameplay was not that good. The record is an Xbox One exclusive. It is a good game, but kind of a, you know... It's kind of a needs us a little bit patience. Battlefield 4, you know, one of the good battlefields before EA fucks up, you know, fuck up everything. The Wolfenstein, the New Order, and uh, it is kind of a, you know, good game. Still good game made the, made by the same guys who made the Doom. Uh, you know, good old days. Assassin's Creed, actually, the new Wolfen, you know, the Wolfenstein, the New Order, I platinum this game. It isn't that hard. It's kind of an easy. Assassin. Actually, there's no platinum in Xbox One. It's one hundred percent. So, uh, yeah, I one hundred percent that game. Assassin's Creed: The Ezio Collection. I got you know one hundred percent on all three games. I really like Assassin's Creed. Right, Race Center of Room, and it is a good game. The graphics good. The story is good. I don't know why the people just you know giving the bad reviews. Race of the Tomb Raider wasn't bad. Moral Combat, one of my favorite games. I really played this game. I think I just fucked the shit out of this game, honestly. Well, Assassin's Creed Origins, and uh, I got 100% in this with all the DLCs. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, 100% with all the DLCs. The Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah, it is a you know, patience. It needs a lot of patience if you want to 100% this game. Yeah. Garden Warfare, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, I really like this game, I really reached to level 50, it was the first online game I that, uh, that I played this seriously, I really liked the online, it was a good gameplay, core, you know, the, in the core it was really awesome, and I was getting close to the 100%, but I couldn't achieve it, most of these games that you see I got close to 100%, Kinect Sport Rivals, uh, it is a good game, but... Honestly, the Microsoft didn't care about the Kinect anymore, so fuck it. The Gears of War Ultimate Collection is one of the Xbox One Golden Games. Honestly, you should play it. It is really enjoyable, and I recommend you to play it, because it is awesome. The Marcus is a badass character. Call of Duty Microtransaction 3. Yeah. Please, Activision, do not ruin the fucking games, you know? They use Modern Warfare on the new title, they use Black Ops on the new titles. They're not Black Ops, you know? They're never gonna replace Black Ops 1 and 2, so don't make yourself tired, okay? 
Far Cry 4, the Pagan Man, the main villain, it's really interesting. The story driven is interesting. Gameplay is interesting. That's all I can say. Deus X Mankind Divided, Day 1 Edition. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't like this game. It was really, really, I don't know, boring, I call it. You know, too complicated for me. I don't know. The, you know, Far Cry Primal. And I have 100% this game. It's really awesome. I recommend it to you. Batman is a cheap one that actually you can buy two games with, you know, two DVDs with one price, which are now low. If I push this, there, you know, there's a second DVD on it. And see, there's a second DVD. There are two. You know, I just separated it, and it is two DVDs. Watch Dark 2. Oh my god, don't play this game. It was awful. For Honor, a game that it, it had the potential of becoming good, but honestly, it lost it. Star Wars Microtransaction. Yeah. Just fuck you, EA. The Division, the Ubisoft's favorites, and yeah. It wasn't a bad, but honestly, my internet connection was sucked. So, Dynasty Empires and Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires, it is a good game. It's kind of a, had different feelings, you know, you can be an emperor, you can be a lieutenant, you can be anyone you want. Hitman Steelbook Edition. It is the most common steelbook in the world, so I guess everybody have it these days. Metal Gear The Phantom Pain, I made it through 98% of the game. Only 2% of it remained to finish it. Uh, that, you know, I don't like Kojima, but honestly, he game, you know, makes the best games, you know. I hope the Death Stranding, the, the, the Death Stranding will be, you know, good as, like, the Metal Gear series. I really like Metal Gear. I don't like Kojima, but I, I must repeat that he makes awesome games, you know? He makes legendary games that, and yeah, he did a good job. Unfortunately, they fired him from Konami. Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. It was a good game, and I told you, you know, in the previous video. Uh, Airflock Festival of Magic, it was a free game, but unfortunately I did not know it, so I bought the goddamn disc. Yeah, this one. Battlefield 1, actually, the game who cocked the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, yeah. Gears of War 4, unfortunately, I didn't have the time to play this game, but it is a good game. It is story-driven, and it is the end of the market, so it is kind of a sad end. Achievements for these games are really fucking hard. Dying Light. It is a good game. Yeah. Only I can say it is like a zombie horror apocalypse in the Haran city and you should survive. Just Cause, you know, Rodriguez, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that's it. She just blows some stuff up. You just fucking kill and blow stuff up. Nothing so special. The booty game. Hmm. Just search it on the internet, but do not search the goddamn sexual content about it because you will see some things that you should not see. <laughs> Honestly. Dead Rising 4. Yeah. What was the name of the character again? I always forget. Well, he's a photographer and, you know, he covered wars, like as he said. He's the main protagonist from 4 Dead Rising series. Uh, I always forget his name, but we'll skip it. Yeah, the Fallout 4, the game that actually was the base for the Fallout, you know, 72? I don't know, I, I don't even care, get a shit about the Fallout series. I'm not the big fan of the you know, Bethesda RPG, so don't make me mad at me. Grand Theft Auto, I really like this game, but after finishing the story, it will be boring. So, if you want to, you know, think you can go online and have fun, well, you get a, you know, bombard by some, you know, jetpacks, guy who wears jetpacks and, you know, having uh, flying motorcycles and fucking airplanes. Yeah, that's nice. Quantum Break. I get 100% in this game. It is easy, but the graphics are awesome. The gameplay was really good, but the bad point it is it was short. Final Fantasy 15. It was a good game. I really loved, I really loved Noctis, Gladius, Agnes, and... Uh, Prompto, yeah, this Noctis, Gladius, Egnet, Prompto, yeah, I heard the names a bunch of times, so I know they're 
for Call of Duty Infinity Warfare. Don't blame me. I bought it because my friends said it was good. So I, I was curious, so I bought it. But I'm really regretting it right now. The Witcher Wild Hunt, the last game, it is just a masterpiece. I really want to buy it for the PlayStation. It is just a fucking masterpiece. You know, CD Projekt never made a bad game, so congratulations to you guys. Anyway, guys, our video is over right now. Check out, you know, check out our other videos, and please, if you like our content, subscribe and turn that, you know, bell, the belly thing. <laughs> I don't know. I, seriously, I don't know anything about it, but turn that not notification up and, uh, you know, like our video, subscribe, and if you really, really like our contents, please comment down below and let me know what you're thinking about the, my game collection, and that's it. Here it, guys. See you another time. Peace. Whoops.